Okay, this is gonna be a review of the Volcano Cube, my first one. But, there was a logo right there and there. One right there was the, um, the first challenge one. And then down here was the designer, which was Tim Bar, Tim, Tim Bar, Ever Bar. I forget. But I'll put link, like caption annotation over it. Tell you the exact name designer size comparison between a pyraminx and this. Pyraminx is a bit bigger size comparison from a normal cube. It's about a bit, tad bit bigger. Not that much. And overall, the turning ability is like outstanding. It's like my best puzzle out of all of mine that I have with turning ability. The turn really good let me take that back my square one have a kind of good turning ability but this 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 slice not that good but the top and bottom is good well this one has some good sides some bad sides but, yeah, overall, it's like the best one. I would give it a 9.5 because really good turning ability. Barely any lockup. The only lockups occur is like when you turn a face. Like right there. I'm turning it really hard and it won't move. That's because either when the other face is around it, it's turned slightly and it catching on it like that. And and another thing is that sometimes when you try to do this, this sort of happens where this piece can tend to fly off, get stuck, and it's like flies off like that. So basically what Timur did, but he originally designed this in shape ways. But I think he had the idea from it from like taking a normal pure mink and like making a circle around the center. Like imagine this whole circle part is the part he cut out to make the extended faces to work. And basically it works that way and the sticker quality excellent it's like very very good the only diff the only problem is the logo peels off and it happens to have the same type of stickers as my keychain pyramid does and some of my some of the stickers or exactly the same size for it. Yeah. And here I'll show you the mechanism. I'm only taking off one side, like one face of it. So here is 
what it would, what it looked like without a face. As you can see, it's like there's a big hole around it. And like around there, there's the other pieces. Why not? Rotate around it. Yeah. And, um, basically, yeah, it's very good. If I were to get Lubix, the ultimate Rubix lube, I would probably have a super good, um, puzzle with, like this. Because this puzzle is very good. I've lubed it with silicone CRC, but Lubix is like very thick, very good silicone, which that makes it excellent in that process. And it would make the ultimate lube. And if I happen to see someone with Lubix at the competition that I'm going to in April, I will try to lube most of my cubes with it. With that, I can then tell how good it is. Yeah. And I can solve it sort of occasionally. But yeah. When you move the tip, it's like this is the only way. Because if you try to move it with your finger, it doesn't work all the time. That's because faces want to rotate independently. Yeah. And speaking of which, I've, I had, like, I've had a micro cube smaller than this, but somehow I took it apart and was like, I hate putting this thing together. And so I decided, yeah. I'll leave it in my parts bin for a while. And then I finally resurrected it. And I can only find all except for three pieces. Two corners and one edge. I don't know if you can tell. But this cube is tiny. It's exactly the same size as this 2x2. Two two. It had like horrible stickers. And I remember getting it in San Francisco at a Taco Bell from a vending machine. Now, I don't know exactly what Taco Bell or what. And like, on this one corner right here, I'm screwing, trying to figure out, like trying to get this screw thing in so that I can have this as a necklace of some sort. And if anyone can help me um, by getting me new parts, like, I send off the cube so that you can cast the part and make it better and thicker it so that I have a good cube. Here's the edge. Here's the corner. Basically, it's tiny. Yeah, if anyone out there is willing to help me make this a 
better cube, like, so that I can use it, and it still be solvable, and has stickers on it, then, so be it, because I really want this cube back again. Yeah. And so, yeah. That's about it for this little review of this puzzle. Basically, this cost him like $42. And I was like, yes. This is worth it. And it is worth it.